Hi, my name is Jordan, and I'm a worship leader at Rock City Church in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm so excited to share the verse of the day with you. It comes from Matthew 121, which says this, She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. This is an angel of the Lord telling a first century Jewish man named Joseph that the young girl he's about to marry, who's a virgin, is with child. And this child is the savior of the world. But there's more context that goes back thousands of years. Throughout the centuries, the Jewish people were given hundreds of prophecies about a coming Messiah who would save his people. Prophecies like the one found in Isaiah 7:14, which says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. See, the virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. The Jewish people held on to these promises for centuries. Through captivity and war and suffering, they kept coming back to one thing. Soon the Messiah will come and make all things right. And now Joseph is told that not only is the Messiah coming, but that he will be born of his wife into his family, a family with a history littered with murder, adultery, and deception. Yet this is the lineage God chose to bring forth the Savior of the world. And not only that, but this Savior born into that mess was God himself, the most holy God putting on human form so that by becoming one of us, he might save all of us who believe. This Christmas season, we remember that God's promise to his people remains the same, that in our brokenness and sin, God steps in and offers us himself, that even in the darkest of times, in Jesus, we have hope, joy, and the light of salvation. Our hope is sure, our hope will last, and our hope has a name, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us.